Besties, okay, so all I've done is cardio this morning and look how big my shoulders look in this shirt. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, besties, I have a problem. So I work at GNC. Um, half the people think I don't lift because, I mean, I've been cutting, I look small, I guess. I don't know. Um, so everybody just thinks I don't lift. Is it okay to like just pull my sleeves up and like walk around like this? Like, if I just walk around just with my sleeves pulled up, is that like too much? Or is it like just enough and like, oh yeah, she, she lifts, you know? Let me know. Okay, besties, can we take a singular second to just appreciate the back gains really quickly? Um, like, firstly, the density is insane, but also shreds. Like, who let that happen? <laughs> Getting too big.
Hi guys and good morning. So I self tanned last night um, just for the shreds and honestly, I'm feeling massive, not gonna lie. <laughs> Insane. Guys, can we just take a second? Look at the vascularity! Oh my god. <laughs> I apologize.
Okay, so I don't know about y'all. I'm not dressing up for school. I dress so people know I'm massive and that I lift. Like, okay, one sec. If this were to walk up into your class, it's just a fact that I lift. It's just a fact. Hello guys. I am now happy to announce that I will be taking on the role of head lifestyle coach for Fem Evo, a women run international coaching company. Not only will I get to continue to work under the guidance of my coach, Erin, but also work alongside like minded individuals. For me, it is so important to be surrounded by individuals with similar values of encouraging women to achieve their strongest self and take up space, which perfectly aligns with everything I have preached since the beginning on this account. To me, taking up space is not just about physical growth and being big, but it's also about mental growth as well. We wanna grow to be confident in who we truly are and not being confined to what society's standards are about who you should be. I do now have some spots open for one-on-one -on -one online coaching. Um, my link to start this month inquiry is in my bio. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting me. Um, and yeah, I love you. Okay, so just stop what you're doing right now. Look at my quads. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so like internally, I'm always like, there's no way I could do figure. <laughs> like, then I take a picture like this, so. She's cute.
Okay, I don't know why I'm recently addicted to doing like little bubble braids in my hair. I felt like my hair was always too thin to do it, but I think it kind of works. I also was tired of only wearing hair clips. <laughs> so I don't do a very high pony. I leave a part, don't judge me for the slight middle part, but, and then I do like a ponytail just like in the middle of my head, not low, not high, just kind of like right there. I do kind of pull pieces out in the front. Um, I cut these myself. <laughs> Okay, now I just kind of literally give myself a couple inches and tie off a hair, um, a hair band into it. And kind of as I add hair ties, I just pull that out like a tiny bit. Like I tie it off and then poof it up a little bit. And when you finish, it just like looks like that. Yeah. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of messages asking about how I grew my glutes so much this year. Let's talk about it. Okay, so this is my glutes when I was cutting. Um, I don't know, in like March, April. Without the scrunch. <laughs> There's just two things. Maybe three. Push some heavy fucking weight. Eat. But also make sure you're recovering. Like, I do not go in the gym and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to, like, extension, like, 50, 60 pounds for our, as many reps as I can. I think in my head, I'm going to do six to eight reps. How heavy can I go to get that? I just think sometimes people in the gym are like, oh, yeah, if I'm lifting at all, like, I'm going to gain muscle mass. And that is so true. But if you want major progress, you got to push a major weight. You have to be uncomfortable. And on that note, you've got to eat some food. Um, half the progress I have made is because I am bulking and eating a lot of food right now. You can't be scared to increase food and at the same time be like, I want to get a big juicy booty. Like, you, juicy booty, eating more food. They go hand in hand. On the same note, where a lot of people lack is recovery. Like, they're not barely sleeping. They're overtraining. Like, you do not need to be, like, lifting legs, like, seven days a week. Like, you do not need to be going every day. You've got to recover. Make sure you're sleeping. Make sure you're eating enough to recover. That's what I got to say. I wouldn't normally be a person to wear a bandeau to the gym. But look at my dress. <laughs> Insane. Okay, when I tell you it is almost impossible to find a pair of pants when you're a weightlifter, I have just found the perfect pair of pants. <laughs> American Eagle Slay. American Eagle Slay. Can we just take a moment? One thing about me, if there is a huge window, I will be flexing in front of it. So, um, look at my quads. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi, okay, so my workout is um, pool, hamstring focused leg day, rest, push, quad focused leg day, and then a density day, which is just hamstring and back.
Besties, y'all are hyping me up too much. Okay, okay. Everybody is commenting on my triceps. I love y'all. Thank you. I do love my triceps. Okay guys, so I've had a lot of DMs basically saying like I've been trying to cut, I'm at a calorie deficit, and I haven't been losing weight. Um, and a common uh, thing I see is that they don't track their coffee, they don't track their creamers, their sauces, etc. So I wanted to show you how I make my coffee on prep. Okay, first I start with just like a normal um, like Keurig Starbucks coffee because I like it strong. Then my holy grail at the moment, 5 calories for a tablespoon of zero sugar Hershey syrup. It makes it like mocha tasting. I could have this by itself. I'm not going to, but it's so good. So next I weigh out on my little like food scale, one fourth of a serving of skim milk. For me, I think it's like 60 milliliters, something like that. I'm going to add in creamer, but I'm going to weigh out the amount that it's supposed to have for our serving. So it's 15 milliliters. It's 35 calories. So this is where we're at. And then I get a frother and froth it. And we like it iced here. I'm gonna add my froth at the bottom. And then I added my coffee on top. Okay, so we are six weeks out from my bodybuilding competition. I wanted to give you a grocery haul. Here's what we got for breakfast this week. We have the 100 calorie English muffins. We're gonna do an egg with four egg whites and then I use this zero calorie um, spray butter and I do a half a serving of cottage cheese. This is always snack number one. Uh, two servings of Oikos yogurt. Usually it's like 300 grams, a tablespoon of peanut butter and 100 grams of strawberries. I also got these other flavors to try, banana and peach. Okay, so I already had a ton of chicken. So I got this huge thing of ground turkey, just like low fat percentage, and then a bunch of tuna packets. I usually eat like four ounces of a meat roughly with some rice and vegetables, and I always eat broccoli. <laughs> okay, so that's for lunch and dinner. I also have like some extra stuff as like a late night after workout snack. Um, I have cream of rice, I have oatmeal, I also got some like sugar-free creamer, that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna set the record straight right now. We're not trying to make some D1 athlete babies. Uh, we are trying to make the next Arnold. And that's on period.
Okay, so I'm a bikini bodybuilder. I want to do figure one day. Everybody seems to think like right now I'm big enough to do figure and I'm going to show you why I'm not. Okay, so this is for my workout yesterday and everybody was like, oh my God, like you should be in figure. How are you on prep for her bikini? Let me show you what I look like right now. So with no pump, this is, I'm just going to show the abs. Um, this is what we're looking like. <laughs> honestly exposed um but this is literally i feel like how bikini looks right like i don't think i look that big um so that's why we're doing bikini also i want to know do you think i'm figure material yet or do you think i still should do a couple shows in bikini that's the flex So if anybody keeps tabs on my Instagram, I haven't been posting that much the last couple days. You want to know why that is? My at-home gym compared to my college gym lighting sucks. And I feel small and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> Okay, guys, who let this girl also be this girl? Who let that happen? Okay, so I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but this is your reminder that you can be feminine and strong. You can be both. Now go and kill it. Good morning. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions to do a vacuum, so you got it. <laughs>